Hey guys, welcome to this course, Deep Learning with TensorFlow 2.0 in 7 Steps. My name's Robert, and I'll be taking you through this course. A little bit about myself, I work as a data engineer on the Google Cloud Platform. Part of my job function involves training and deploying machine learning models. I've been a software engineer for over 20 years. This course is divided into seven steps. Each step is designed as a section. First, we'll get you started with working with TensorFlow by setting up an environment for deep learning. We'll learn to work with an online environment called Google Colab, as well as on a local computer. We'll learn how to fetch data and also discuss tensors and their dimensionality. At the end of the section, we'll learn to train our first model. Second section, consider the reasoning behind deep learning. We'll review the logistic regression algorithm as applied to image classification and observe its limits. We'll then proceed to introduce perceptrons and feed forward networks. By the end of the section, we'll understand what a deep neural network is and how to implement one of our own. Then we'll close with an assignment. Third section, image classification. We'll look at the numerical representation of images, the features that exist in those representations, and how to extract those features using deep convolutional neural networks. We'll apply this technique to differentiate between images of cats and dogs. In the fourth section, sequence models. We'll introduce data that has an interpretation that relates to the sequence in which it appears. Then we'll discuss how these types of networks can be modeled using three types of sequence models. We'll learn to predict sentiment on Amazon Book Review's dataset. In the fifth section, continue with sequence models and we'll introduce temperature data. We'll proceed with how this type of data can be modeled using both an RNN and an LSTM. Sixth section, transfer learning by looking at the ImageNet Large Scale Visual Recognition Challenge and the impact that it has had on advances in the field of computer vision. We'll highlight the data and resource intensive nature of deep neural networks and how we can make use of models that were trained on one type of data to learn features on another type of data. We'll apply what we learned to train a model to classify clouds. Seventh section, we'll look at topics such as autoencoders and generative adversarial networks. To conclude, we'll take an assignment and also consider a solution. The goal of this course is to teach you how to train your deep learning models. We'll be doing this by using TensorFlow. TensorFlow is a numerical computation library, which simplifies the mathematical and statistical operations necessary for machine learning. Just a few prerequisites before we get started. We'll be making use of the Python programming language, so it would help if you had a foundation. Another useful foundation to have would be a machine learning, as this would provide you with a foundation in linear and logistic regression. Some basic statistics are also nice to have. That's it with the introduction. I look forward to seeing you in this course. Let's get started.